Okay, guys, uh, back to working on Kevin's truck. Uh, hopefully, the list is going to start getting longer or shorter. Uh, Derek and Chris made a whole list of things we got to start doing. It's just a lot of little, a little tedious stuff, but uh, ah, we're slowly breaking it down. Uh, I think today is going to be like arts and craft. We bought uh, at one of just the local box stores, just some carpet and our uh, makeshift ghetto uh, sill plates. Is that stainless or is it just aluminum? Aluminum. All right. Yeah, that. And uh, I think it was like 20 some bucks. And how cheap? They don't even give you screws. Got our big, or my big gulp. Chris got a Slurpee today. And I'm uh, not sure these uh, clowns left off last time, but uh, Derek's got the whole hood in uh, mud here and starting to sand it. I know he's not too thrilled about doing it, but it's got to happen. Uh, running boards are ready for high build, I think. So they got to get, I doubt we'll do that today. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do the carpet and get that all done today. Uh, I don't know what other shit they've done in the past few days. I've, it's been a while since I've been out here, but uh, yeah, so I'm slowly getting things done. Uh, drive shafts all back in now. New year, new year oh yeah, joints. new year joints. Yeah, we did that the other day, or you guys did. Uh, running boards are ready for high build. I can't remember if I just said that. Signs of old age. Oh, the headlight buckets are going to be using uh, these ones. I've already sanded one down and it's already got the glazing putty on it. So yeah, getting shit done. Yeah, but like I said, we made a whole list of stuff just to more or less complete this shit box and uh, shouldn't be much longer, I don't think, eh? Just like, don't call my project a shit box. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute and uh, yeah, we'll get our ghetto carpet flooring that costs like 35 bucks. Oh, like, share, subscribe. I also, I don't, it's March, right? Yeah, yeah, next month's April. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, and I just wanted to say it was really nice of uh, Dave Knapp to uh, send us in the mail here. He uh, e emailed us a while ago and he wanted to know if we needed a, a clip. I guess he knows for the carburetor. We're missing a clip for the down, for the kick down. So he uh, just gave us a parts carburetor for the parts. So thank you very much there, Dave. Hope you're watching. And uh, a while ago, I totally forgot, but I was sitting in uh, my garage here and I forgot to bring it here. But uh, Greg there uh, from uh, Gimli, Manitoba, he brought, gave us a set of uh, outside mics. Yeah, I'm a machinist at heart, but yeah, it's very nice of him. So thank you, Greg. I know you're watching. He always does. So anyway, I guess I should do something. They're actually doing something or pretending. Well, I know that loser is, but I guess I should do some work. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, so I'm uh, almost uh, ready to uh, finish my... Uh homemade cheap home home hardware carpet um, so what we did is just laid it down I cut the, cut the edges to size uh, started trimming around here gas pedal there's a seam up here that's because the steering column couldn't do anything about it but it fits good up there right right by my uh, fuse fuse panel uh, I just cut a notch a hole for my stopper there. I had to cut this out for the tranny cover um, just because this wasn't laying flat. So now this is gonna lay flat there. This seam's gonna be glued. It'll be glued down there so it'll hold it there. And then I made this top plate go over there. And then that's just gonna be glued like that. And you won't notice that seam there yeah and actually you just hold that it actually looks really good yeah like you said with glue and you won't even notice and then it. the shift plate will cover that so we'll glue that uh, along just along the edges and a little bit along the top uh, this will get not worried I'm not gonna bother uh, gluing along here our uh, kick panels will hold that I'll I'll put a couple dabs of glue along the top just to hold that but up here it's not gonna go anywhere it's just gonna sit like that so it fits around everything and $35 and could have made it cheaper, but we didn't find a good sale on, uh, on outdoor carpet. So and this is better than outdoor carpet. It's, it's not that plastic crap. It uh, actually feels like uh, automotive carpet. <laughs> and you can get it in different, well, home, or Home Hardware has, had it in different colors, green, brown. Uh, well, we took the black, so. 
Should have went with the blue. <laughs> blue would have been too bright. Yeah, no. It looks pretty good. But yeah, I mean, the seat's gonna hold this down, so I'm not worried about that. And did the same thing in, in another one of my cars, and it, it's held up for what, two years now? Yeah. And I'll, this is where your uh, heel's gonna be for the gas pedal. Uh, so I'm gonna take a, a spare scrap of this and just cut a rectangle and basically Velcro it on here. That'll uh, act as a um, just a heel pad. So then when it, once it gets worn out, you take that off, put a new piece, Velcro a new piece on, so you don't wreck the uh, the stuff down here. And same with here, we'll probably get either floor mats or I'll just take more of the, this stuff and Velcro it where you're most likely going to uh, put your feet and your heels uh, just for extra padding and extra protection of this stuff so because this stuff's going to be glued in so i'm not going to i don't want to have to pull, replace it every two years so that's what i did with mine and i just replaced the pad every year and works good looks pretty snazzy i'll go there so, looks damn good to me. Very cheap do-it-yourself uh, carpet installation. It's a little, a lot of fitting here and there, pie cutting and, and stuff like that. But once you uh, get started, just keep slicing a bit here and there, uh, fitting it on, the, starting from the center and work your way out. So I fit fit this first and then I fit it around here then I went to the steering column then to the edges and then just slice off this and then we bought uh, for the we bought uh, just regular aluminum uh, household sill plates I'm gonna screw in there and that'll hold the side of the carpet in so it'll look good and we'll show you uh, once I get that all done and once it's all glued and set we'll show you the aftermath so. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've been uh, nominated to do the thankless, very, very, very shitty, shitty job. Um, deep burlapping it. Fudge. I already took a lot of the foam off and uh, just knocking all the, there's, everyone's filled with little mouse nests. I'm not really impressed with doing this, but somebody's got to do it. It all can't be fame and fortune. <laughs> so anyway, I'll, uh, I've come up with a little bit of smart thinking here. What I do is uh, kind of knock off most of this ugliness. And then I just burn off the little crinkets and shit pockets. And ugh, what a shitty ass job. But it's almost there. Ugh. And Chris, you better be thankful. Actually, never F Chris. Kevin better be thankful. He should be out here doing this. But the springs look like in pretty good shape and everything else, but it's just piss soaked, <laughs> rat infested. Ah, oh, right there. More about. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll get back to it, but all I gotta say is the shower's gonna feel pretty good after this. What are you doing on this Sunday? Not doing this. Back in a bit. Okay, so I uh, stripped all the uh, burlap or bur whatever you want to call it, burlap, is that what it's called? Burlap. Burlap. And all the mice infested crap. And I'm just going to uh, show something what I'm going to do, what came up with it. But anyway, I want to show you a few of the uh, tools of the trade here to do this. Mask is very important, even I'm not that unresponsible to wear a mask. So wear a mask, gloves, some sort of poking device to get the mouse shit out of there. Just some knives and then... This guy. Yeah. yeah. Full, full garbage full of and crap. Then, uh, oops. Hopefully I'm not out of sh there we go. And then you just burn this stuff off. But I gotta say, they said build cars. Build cars, it'll be fun, they said. You don't see people doing this shit. Look. 
thought this stuff would light on fire a lot better. <laughs> really not doing anything. No, it isn't. No. Oh, here. It'll burn this up. Good thing you guys don't have smell of vision. This shit stinks. There we go. Imagine if we went into that rat hotel. <laughs> but I think after this, I'll just give it a quick wipe and whatnot and just shoot it some sort of block or something just to, if there is any smell of whatever, at least it'll be trapped or gone. Remember kids, stay in school. Could have saved this for the summer and keep the mosquitoes away. Yeah, I know, eh? I think it's plus five out right now. Anyway, I think you guys got the gist of it. At least the seat, uh, like I said, after this, I'll clean up uh, the remainder of the shit. And, uh... and yeah, somebody's going to be saying, why aren't you uh, wearing a mask right now? Then we're going to get uh, some new burlap, put it on, and I uh, think we're going to go with just uh, regular uh, old upholstery. We're going to, from a, from a fabric shop, and I'm going to make my own seat covers. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nasty one. Get some foam, and replace the foam. But yeah, it looked a lot better than it did a couple hours ago. Kevin better be appreciated. Alrighty. I think we'll call that good. I'll clean up the rest. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's better. Okay. There, do it yourself door strips. Nothing wrong with that. Nope, just gonna do the other one. And that's all in there, tightened. This has all been glued in and Velcroed in. I didn't glue carpet to carpet, I Velcroed carpet to carpet. It gets Sticky and one side carpet from your uh, craft store and works perfect. It doesn't move around and that's gonna, I'm gonna make a, uh, a foot rest uh, or a foot pad here and just stick it down with carpet or Velcro. Works good. So we'll just put this one on that side and uh, I might fix up a few little things and I'll show you the 100% uh, done shot with everything cleaned up okay we just uh, finished up with the carpet our homemade uh, $35 carpet uh, you can see it looked pretty good um, it's uh, all well mostly one piece but, well there's a couple pieces there is uh, I used uh, uh, this is carpet from uh, home hardware or home depot same thing it was just uh, I think 
six feet by four feet or five feet for like 35 bucks it's like indoor outdoor carpet it's not that plastic outdoor stuff it feels more like regular carpet it's just thin cheap stuff but it worked actually pretty good um so what i ended up doing i ended up splitting uh it around here to and then i glued glued the carpet in here then i put laid another piece in and on top here all the way up to it's barely you can barely see it but that's the edge of it right there and velcro uh, that i just velcroed in velcroed it in here a couple places in here so it can always come off if we have to play with the tra the, the the shift or anything then i uh, made a little uh heel pad that's just also just velcroed on you can glue it uh the velcro doesn't stick excellent uh so it can be replaced lots of times or you can actually staple it would work good but that uh acts as a heel pad and i did a heel pad as well on this side same thing velcro just for the the brake then i went even a step further velcro there's made a basically a mat and it covers the uh brake master cylinder so that can get uh, serviced anytime you need to. And um, when this gets dirty, uh, instead of, well, you can vacuum it out, but you can even just pull, pull it out. Take care of the Velcro a bit. There you go, pull it out. Dump it off and dump all your crap off and and back it goes in. Doesn't slide. So that's good. Uh, the back is not glued at all. Uh, the seat's gonna be uh, bolted through here and here. That'll hold it. We also put, uh, got aluminum uh, floor stripping and used it as uh, edging and that again holds the carpet uh, in its place and we uh, got the uh, just test fitted the they have to come out again because we have to put the hood hinges on but the uh, kick panels they fit pretty good a little bit of uh, trim, trimming along here because of the carpet but uh, yeah it looks pretty good uh, it's glued up here it's not perfect because there's a hump here and I didn't want to start cutting it but you your foot's never going to be up here so the pedal is holding it in this you know, the stop is holding it in the uh, dimmer switch is holding the carpet so it's not going anywhere anytime soon and the reason why I put these heel pads is because this is it is cheap carpet and if you constantly put your heel in one spot it's just going to dig a hole in it and doing it this way it saves uh, the original stuff and you just put when it gets worn out you pull that out and you cut in another piece from from some scraps or whatever and velcro it down and you got another heel pad uh didn't done that on another car and it works works out good so uh yeah i think for 35 bucks could have got it cheaper but for a, almost a one piece solid back here that's pretty damn good you can do this by like smaller strips just have a seam in the center and then just put two velcro strips and it also works good i've done that but yeah for this truck, I think it looks excellent. Uh, we'll wait and see how it how it wears, but I think it'll wear. That's why I, ha I made these mats. We can put you can put other mats on top of it if you want to. Uh, but yeah, it looks good. Good do-it-yourself carpet job. The Chris special.
You can you can copy me. Trust me. <laughs> it's not copyrighted. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, likes, subscribe, uh, comment, do all that good stuff. All that stuff helps. Uh, so we'll see you on the next video on this. Uh, on the next one, we're all, we're hoping to get it the hood probably painted on the next one, and the running boards painted, and get those on. So we're and getting close to the end of this project, and on to the next one. So thanks for watching.